You're watching ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Share and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, I'm going to do a quick channel update. Uh, first of all, I want to thank everyone for, uh, you know, continuing to be supportive for this last week. Unfortunately, I've been very, very sick. Uh, I still sound slightly congested, but not nearly as bad as I did a couple of days ago. And uh, that's why you haven't seen any videos. There have been no videos up this week at all because I've been pretty much sick, working, and then when I come home, I pretty much pass out, uh, or I've just kind of been relaxing, trying to lay low, and uh, just work out the kinks, but uh, you know, but I'm back on board, we're going to have some videos this week, uh, there are going to be some changes to uh, one particular series that a lot of people have asked me about, uh, I've been working on this for a couple of weeks, and I'm going to, it's not a series I'm removing, but it's a series that I'm going to kind of redefine, uh, the Conspiracy Theory series uh, will continue this week. It's no longer going to be called Conspiracy theory, uh, Theories. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to incorporate um, more topics into the series that are related to politics, the government, uh, things we hear in the news like ISIS and stuff like that. Uh, one of the things I've learned about doing this series is that people have always wanted me to bring up those topics. And on the Nation Facebook page, that's pretty much banned from being discussed um, simply because we want to keep that page entertainment related as a way for people to come and just kind of escape the real world every now and then. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we all work. We all hear all the crap that goes on in the news, the things they like to tell us. And sometimes you just need to escape. And that's one of the reasons why we don't really bring up politics on the Nation Facebook page. However, I do know people like to discuss this. People like to do this. And I figured, you know, when we talk about conspiracy theories, they have a lot to do with government. And... With that said, I kind of decided, all right, let me just re redo this, put all this, mash it into one big pot, and we're going to we're gonna make it that series. And I'm not a big fan of the government. <laughs> you know, when I look at the news and I see wars going on here and wars going on there and people unhappy here or debating amongst each other and stuff like that, uh, to me, just sometimes it looks like everything's kind of breaking down. And... <laughs> So I decided that when I named this, when I named this series, I want to name it in such a way that kind of defines that, but at the same time still incorporates what my channel is. Not meaning entertainment, but just the name of my channel. So I came up with a name called Breaking Nations. And uh, I thought it was pretty clever. <laughs> uh, and that's what this new series is going to be called. It's going to be called Breaking Nations. We're still going to discuss conspiracy theories. We still will discuss some cryptozoology, but we're also going to throw into the mix uh, some more recent stuff like the ISIS thing. One of the things I want to bring up this week and one of the topics I'm going to discuss this Thursday is going to be the FCC. And I'm sure many of you heard about the neutrality or the neutral agreement that came up with for the internet and telecommunications. So that's something I definitely want to discuss this Thursday. So that's going to kick off this series that has gone from conspiracies into pretty much all of that stuff rolled into one. So that's going to be this Thursday. In terms of the fantasy battles, just so you guys know, we are not completely done doing the last portion. What we have decided to do is we're going to deliver all three matches at the same time. So when I do upload the two final bouts and then the championship match, it's all going to be the same day. So that's what we're working towards now. Alex Inslee has been working very, very hard at it. He wants it to be good. He wants you guys to enjoy it. So shortly before I'm ready to put that up, I will post a video discussing what the rewards are going to be for the winner, and then we'll go from there. So just stay tuned. Keep patient for that. It is coming. We have not forgotten. From there, we're going to continue the fantasy battles. Once, maybe twice a month, they will not be kaiju-related. This is going to be the stuff that we've seen before, the discussions that we've had. We're going to give an opportunity for all the nerds to rage in the comment section about how incompetent we are. And yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> we already know what to expect. We decided we're going to dive into it. I actually was considering not doing this anymore because I started reading some of the comments in the Godzilla vs. Cthulhu uh, video that I did like a year ago, which are still getting comments today. And yeah, it's a little embarrassing. Uh, so, but people seem to have fun with that. Uh, we have fun doing it. I kind of have fun getting, getting a kick out of the reaction. So we're going to continue with the series after the tournament. Whether or not we have another tournament remains to be seen. I'll let you guys know. But it was a lot of work for Al. It was a lot of work for myself. And considering my new... I don't want to say my new life, but my new job and how demanding it is. Don't know if I can pull off another tournament, but we will continue with the series nonetheless. So, moving on. Okay, so, in terms of 
what to expect this week going forward. I know I've missed a lot of reviews. I'm not going to necessarily go back and rehash those reviews, but I will discuss them. Uh, I'm going to have a flash and arrow video this week because obviously they're on hiatus for a little while. So I want to, I will discuss how I felt about the last flash, uh, excuse me, the last arrow show. And I will discuss in general, uh, what I'm looking forward to, what the future holds for both series, uh, for the rest of the season. So that should be a lot of fun. Also, uh, there is the ETN awards, which I haven't forgotten. A lot of people have been asking about that. Uh, I was supposed to do it this past weekend. Obviously I'm sick now, or I was sick. Now my wife's sick. So we're going to do it this week. Um, I have a birthday party for my son on Saturday. So I'm thinking about doing a live stream on Friday night to announce the winners. If you guys are interested, I know I haven't done a live stream in a while, so I figured that's a good way to do it. I did have a whole big award show planned, but because I've been out of it the last couple of weeks, I just haven't had time to communicate with the people I wanted to get involved. And I don't want to keep you guys waiting any longer on who the winners are. So we're going to do a live stream where I will announce the winners and we'll go from there. So I think that is pretty much... Oh, there is one last thing. There is going to be another more serious series coming to the channel. Uh, I was even considering opening another channel just for the series alone because it is nothing to do with entertainment. However, um, after much debate and asking opinions on others, I'm going to keep it on the channel. It will have its own playlist away from the entertainment. I'll probably put it on the very bottom. May not even put it on the front page at all. But this series is very, it's kind of interesting. Um, once again, it spawned from the nation. A couple of people over time, on the nation's very close-knit group, to the point that you'll have a day where everybody's getting great, getting along, people are talking, enjoying each other's company. There's days where people rage on each other and we have to kick some people before they cool off and they come back and everybody works things out. With that said, because of this close knitness, sometimes the conversations are not entertainment related or not necessarily political, but they're a little bit more personal. And those kinds of things we try to keep off the page as well, uh, because sometimes it makes people feel uncomfortable. However, um, with that said, I am not the kind of person that likes to keep people from expressing themselves. And I've decided to come up with this series uh, based on a couple of events that happened on the nation where people wanted some advice for relationships and things of that nature. Uh, so, and I would always chime in. I like to help people. I like to give people advice. I'm 37. I'm married. Despite what you may think about my size, I have never had issues with the opposite sex. But then again, I've never been this big. I, this is like marriage. This is like love fat now. So <laughs> wasn't always like that. But on a more serious note, um, I always would give my piece, people would get involved and give their advice. So what we did was on a podcast, we had what I want to call like a bit of a pilot on a podcast. We spent one hour uh, talking about relationships, things of that nature. The topic was confidence. And we actually had a couple of people uh, email us some questions to ask, which we tackled on the podcast. So I'm going to be uploading that podcast at some point this week uh, to see if it generates any kind of interest for people here. Uh, it was a very, very good hour. We did discuss some really serious things. There was really very little joking. We took it very seriously. And um, I thought it went really well. A lot of people gave some positive feedback on the nation. So there's going to be a series on the nation where if you just have some issues, relationship-wise or anything, send us an email. You know, if you want to ask our opinions and we'll share, we'll share from our experience and our best opinions, myself, Olivia, and Xander, uh, to maybe help you out. And, you know, I know this is not going to interest everybody, and that's perfectly fine. For those of you who like the entertainment-related stuff, that will always be here. And for those of you who may say, hey, you know what, I kind of got a question. Let me send it in and see what they say. It'll be there. So that's it. <laughs> that's it. So even though I haven't been here the last week doing videos, I have been working on ways to continue to improve the channel. That's what I love to do. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. I love the way the channel is going right now. Uh, we're closing in on 16,000 subs, which I'm very happy about. And, um, yeah, and we got some good movies coming out, huh? A couple of weeks. I mean, I haven't been able to go to the movies because it's snowing again. We're getting another eight inches. It's wonderful. I love it. I can't wait till this fucking winter's over. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Sorry for rambling. This is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news. We just talk entertainment. Take it easy. Thank you for watching ETN. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Join the nation's Facebook page to meet other subscribers or visit ETN's Facebook page and Twitter page. Links for all are in the description.